day everyone. I am your presenter this day, but before I present to you our topic, I will introduce myself first. I am Angel Chrisley Braga. I am a kindergarten teacher in Kipalkuda Elementary School, New La Union, Maitom, Sarangani Province. I started teaching in this school year 2017. The first grade I handled was grade 5 for 3 months and the following years was grade 1, grade 3 and now in kindergarten. I have only been teaching kinder for 7 months. It's like a roller coaster but it is fun especially when you see children learning to learn at an early age. My philosophy in life is, your speed does not matter. Forward is forward. A quote to begin this presentation. When you talk, you are only repeating what you already know. But if you listen, you may learn something new. Let us refresh our minds about our course. Philosophy literally means love of wisdom and philosophy of education is a statement or set of statements that identifies and clarifies beliefs, values, and understandings of an individual or group with respect to education. There are particular philosophies of education and that's what we are going to travel and learn this time. Fasten your seatbelt and let's enjoy the ride learning together. We are going to tackle two educational philosophies. First is scholasticism, its goal of education, role of the teacher, methods of instruction, and curriculum. Second is pragmatism, its goal of education, role of the teacher, method of instruction, and curriculum. Check in hand if you have this. To one who has faith, no explanation is necessary. To one without faith, no explanation is possible. That is from the great representative of scholasticism, Thomas Aquinas. Let us check if we have our faith as our boarding pass in this topic. First question, what is scholasticism? The term scholasticism is derived from Latin word scholasticus and the Greek word scholion. It refers to a place where learning takes place or school. Scholasticism is a medieval school of philosophy or perhaps more accurately a method of learning taught by the academics of medieval universities and cathedrals in the period from the 10th to 19th centuries. It is combined logic, philosophy, and theology into one discipline and is generally recognized to have developed our understanding of logic significantly. Scholasticism is also a way of thinking and teaching knowledge. It brings reason to the support of faith. To strengthen the religious life and the church by the development of intellectual power. A quick review to the history of scholasticism. There have been few men in the past that have had the idea of using scholasticism, including St. Thomas Aquinas, who was an Italian Catholic, a philosopher, and theologian that used scholastic method when he spoke to others. In the highest level of the scholastic, which was between the years 1200s to 1300s, elasticism went from being a way of thinking that only theologians used. Fields of study such as psychology, epistemology, and the philosophy of science eventually took up the idea of scholasticism. During the years 1400s to 1600s, the year was called the Humanism Years. Scholastics were put in the background and were then forgotten about. At that point, scholasticism was considered a rigid, formalistic, outdated, and improper way of handling philosophy. The revival of scholasticism in the late 1800s and early 1900s. The idea of Thomas Aquinas were used again in this period. 
At this period, scholasticism was not used as a form to question but as a tool to theology. What are scholasticism's goal of education? It is to develop power of disputation, to systemize knowledge, to develop the power of formulating beliefs into a logical system, to acquire truth and knowledge. It aimed to silence all doubts and questionings through arguments. Faith is still considered superior to reason. Use both reasons and faith to understand the world. Scholasticism is interested in the search for truth through ideas. With truth comes responsibility to enlighten others. Education is transformation and ideas can change lives. What is the role of the teacher in scholasticism? The teacher is the authoritarian and disciplinarian. It is a lecture structured, students are submissive, and the teacher is responsible for what is to be learned. To analyze and discuss ideas with students, so that students can move to new levels of awareness so that they can ultimately be transformed. What are scholasticism's methods of instruction to students? There are two methods. The lecture, simple reading of a text by a teacher who would expound on certain words and ideas but no questions were permitted. And the disputatio, it is a method of learning, based on dialectal reasoning, and is aimed to answer a series of questions or resolving contradictions, where either the questions to be disputed was announced beforehand, or students proposed question to the teacher without prior preparation the teacher would respond, the students would rebut the response, and the argument would go back and forth, with someone taking notes to summarize the argument. How is the flow of Scholasticism's curriculum? Since this organization was furnished entirely by the logical writings of Aristotle, Scholasticism is often defined as the union of Christian beliefs. It was philosophical current that sought to find comprehensive answers to all doubts that arose with regard to reason and faith, mainly because for scholastics, the human being is the image of God. And this reason, scholastic school relied on dialectics, logic, ethics, cosmology, theology, metaphysics, and psychology. Importance of the study of the classics. Many support a back-to-basic approach to education. The form of revelation and reason were important to scholastic, with which they affirmed that God was the source of knowledge and truth. The idea of scholasticism is a popular belief that is still studied today, and that means belongs to school. Scholasticism was an attempt to reconcile the philosophy of the ancient and classical philosophers with the medieval Christian theology. The main purpose behind scholasticism was to find an answer to a question. It is not a philosophy on its own, but it is an application used on philosophy or a theology. Scholasticism is the tool and the method for learning, which puts an emphasis on reasoning. Now that we are done on our first topic, what have you learned and what can you say about scholasticism? Let's proceed to our next topic, but before that, here's a quote from John Dewey. We do not learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on experience. What do you know about pragmatism?
pragmatism is a modern school of philosophy and plays an important role in education system. Pragmatism is essentially a humanistic philosophy which stresses that human creates his own values and course of activity. The term pragmatism is derived from the Greek word pragma that means activity or work done. Another group of thinkers, however, believes that pragmatism is derived from pragmaticus, meaning practicability or experimentation. Pragmatism originated as a philosophical movement in the United States in the late 1800s. Its main proponents were Charles Sander Pierce, the father of pragmatism, believed that Thought must produce action rather than linger in the mind and lead to indecisiveness. William James, a father of American psychology, one of the most influential philosophers in the U.S., defines truth in terms of usefulness of a belief. And John Dewey, father of modern experiential education, Education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. They are all members of the Metaphysical Club. Education is a living through a continuous reconstruction of experiences. It is the development of all those capacities in the individual which will enable him to control his emotion and fulfill his possibilities, says John Dewey. What are the Pragmatism School of Education? It aims at developing efficiency of the pupil through activities and experience. Education should enable the child to solve his daily problems and lead a better life. To develop social efficiency, ideas are not separate from social condition. Philosophy has a responsibility to society. What is the role of the teacher in pragmatism? According to pragmatism, a teacher is useful even though is not indispensable. The role of the teacher is not the authoritarian but the facilitator. Encourages, offers suggestions, questions and helps plan and implement courses of study. Has also the command of several discipline. It advocates discipline based on the principle of child activity and interest. It believes in engaging the children in free as well as purposeful real activities of human life. A teacher is a friend. Teachers should have knowledge of students' interest and provide them social environment. Pragmatism's method of instruction. The child is the central figure in this method. The essence of pragmatism method is learning, especially through personal experience of the child. To a pragmatic education means preparation for practical life. The pragmatism has given more emphasis on project method, learning by doing, correlation method, playway method, Use of dynamic methods of teaching, experimentation, and activity. What is the curriculum in pragmatism? The curriculum reflects the aims of education. The curriculum should be framed on the basis of certain basic principles. Activity-based principle which says that curriculum should be activity-based where each student can do the activity and learn from his own perception. Principle of utility, that means the curriculum should be useful for future life. Principle of integration, which integrates the child activities and needs on one hand and the needs of the present democracy on the other hand. 
principle of experience which means learning from senses and from own perception. The child conforms to curricular areas of learning across the curriculum. We will end this topic with a quote from John Dewey, Give people something to do, not something to learn. And the doing is of such as a nature to demand thinking. Learning naturally results. Thank you for listening and have a good day. Bye! Help. Look slowly up, hands on your legs, shift side to side. I got this feeling. Now hug yourself. Now kind of hula hands. Other side. Repeat the whole thing. Shift. Hug yourself. Hula hands. Now here comes Timberlake. And Now heel drag. Flick. Flick. Other side. Timberlake again. And heel drags. Other side. Now shimmy back. And front. Fun. Stomp your right foot. And swoop back to the front. Let's shimmy again. Going back. Front. Back. Stomp your foot four times. Slide front. Here comes scissors hands. Scissors. Axle. Left. Now point, point, axle to the right. Scissors over here. Axle left. Point, do the dab. Freestyle. Axle. Freestyle. Axle right. Here comes Timberlake, go. Heel drags. Other side. Timberlake. Heel drag. Here comes the shimmies again, going back. And front. Stomp your foot. Swoop front. Do the shimmy again. Going back. Front. Back. Front. Four. Swoop front. Scissors again, this side. Axle. Point. Axle to the right. Now scissors over here. Axle left. Point. Do the dab. Freestyle. Axle. Freestyle. Axle to the right. Freestyle. Axle. Freestyle. Do the dab. Timberlake. Four times this time. I repeat. One more. Now, freestyle. Do your favorite dance. Keep going. Now, start getting close together. And pose. 